Previously on McLeod's Daughters. And I want not just Alex to get Kalani. Both of you. All right. I was your witness, Harry. I heard you promise him half. Wouldn't work. Too many differences. You know, some bridges just can't be mended. Someone bought Will Gull out from under it. I know. Cough up. Maybe we can make them an offer. I want twice what I paid for it, and I deal. He's the one, Tess. I'm absolutely sure of it. Dad thinks it's a part of Kalani. You can use his yeah. machinery. Manpower. Anything else I'll get my hands on. <laughs> Table's a bit low. Don't think we could have picked anything hotter to do. Sure, you can always bring the stock, the water on a tray from the house. This is nothing. Wait till there's a drought. It hasn't rained for weeks. What do you call this? Mm, summer. That should do it. Okay, everyone. Stand back. I'm gonna hold my head up in town, Brick. <laughs> You've got an easy way to bring cash into this place. Don't hold back. Nothing wrong with barley. Mum makes a great beef soup for barley. A fix the soil too. The only thing barley's good for is beer. Yeah. And I can turn all this back into pasture, run a bit more stock, start a breeding program, and save my big brother dying of embarrassment. <laughs> I'll be super quick. I thought our rationing days were over. It's the middle of summer. We still have to conserve water. But it's Nick's housewarming and I stink. Yep, we all do. So who's going to know this? Yes, I'm first, I'm first. I'll be really quick, I promise I'm not that dirty. This is so gross. It has to rain soon. What? Yeah, it looks like dregs from the bottom of the tank. Something's wrong. I'm going to have to check the bore on the way over to Wilbur. You know, party frocks. I won't be. Nope. No holes in the tank. Well, that's not the problem. There's no water going through the pipe. Could have 
being one, it doesn't hurt to be careful. <laughs> Sounds like the ball's drawn down for some reason. <laughs> Meaning? Meaning the water level's dropped. Why? It could be any number of things. Nick's crop. We'll just have to make sure we're not pumping at the same time, that's all. Yeah, I figured that. Well, I can fill my troughs days if you want to irrigate nights. Well, normally I would, but in this weather... What do you want me to do? Put my cattle on night shift? <laughs> if I can't water my crop when I have to, it's like I'm going to lose thousands of dollars. Well, that's a lot less than what my cattle are worth. Well, you can adjust somewhere else. I, I can't move my crop. Well, that costs money, which I don't have. I'm not losing my crop, Claire. And I'm not losing my cattle. You call this a party? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Come on, Nick. Hey, Harry. Stop gas bagging and do something with these, will you? You want to hear that? What's happening with the music? You're hopeless. Favourite. Hopeless. Good enough, you. Good enough, there, mate. Yeah. All right. Bring you that. Right, I don't know, Claire. Forecast says it's only going to get hotter. Thank you. Did you sort things out with Nick? No. Got some chips and nuts. There's pretzels there. Oh, what about you guys rock the drink. How about another beer? Nice. You are sure picked the right time of year for a house warming. Yeah. <laughs> Hot enough for your test? Why do people always say that as if I'm going to say, no, I wish it was 10 degrees hotter? Well, wait a couple of months and see how you feel. I bet even your sheds are air conditioned at Kalani. Hey. Can I have another drink, honey? Yeah, yeah, why not? Uh, <laughs> Tess, this is uh, Shelley. Shelley, this is Tess. Hello. Excuse us. That's very funny, Nick. What? Don't tell Tess Alex has a new girlfriend. Just ask them all to the party and see what happens. I thought you were OK about breaking up. I am. I'm fine. But it's still a dirty trick, so if you think you can try one on with this water business, then I'm on to you, all right? I, I just want the label. It's a party. I know it doesn't look like much now, right? But in a few years' time, this place is going to be booming, Claire. I'm going to have canola. I'm going to have wheat, pigs, you know? Pigs? You're kidding. No. Huh? Have you seen the returns they can bring? You've got to diversify. Oh, is this a hint about how important the barley is? More than your cattle. Then we should sit down and start talking about breeding. Angus Hereford Cross, mate. <laughs> Big plans. Oh. No more than breeding quarter horses. You know what it's like. Being your own boss. Making changes Jack never would have approved of. That's all I'm trying to do. You're saying it's all my fault? Yep. What are we going to do, Nick? First farmers to ever argue over water, are we? We could try the licensing route. Whatever's decided, we agree to agree to it, though, yeah? Agreed. Okay. There you are. Oh, is that piano in there just for show or what? Oh, here we go. Come on. You coming? <laughs> I'm not singing. I'm not singing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That was right. Do you want to hear a classic? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Who said it'd be cooler sleeping down here? Jody, can you move your feet? They stink. <sighs> you said you couldn't smell them. <sighs> so, does anyone know who Shelley is? Miss Cungillan is being judged in a few weeks. What hope have I got reeking to high heaven with greasy hair? Oh, get dreadlocks. You don't have to wash them. Oh, yeah, brilliant, Tess. Stop shaving under your arms, too. Oh, cool. I'll be a shoe in for Miss Feral Gungallon instead. Well, I'm serious. That's what the hair's for, to absorb the sweat. What, so it sits there and smells? That's why you shave it, so it doesn't... Oh, come on, we shave because society says it's more attractive. But it is. Well, not in some cultures. Look at French women, they've got hairy armpits there, still sexy. You think so? Men think so. Must be the accent. So, does anyone know who Shelley is? <laughs> oh, come on, this is a country. Someone has to. I thought you said you were over him. Yeah, I am. Just curious. I have to go to the loo. Ow! Ow! Stop it! Oh. <laughs> hey, watch out for snakes. Yeah, very funny. No, I'm serious. They'll be out for the lookout for water. In the toilet? It's the only place I find any. What are you doing? Seriously, I'm gonna sleep on the floor now. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wimp. <laughs> Melanie Powers, water licensing rep. G'day. Are you pumping within your allocation? Uh, we only started using the pump yesterday. That's not the problem. Uh, Nick Ryan and I are sharing the same water base, but there's not enough water for both of us, so. Well, we need you to decide who gets the water. My job is to ensure that no party detrimentally affects another person's right to take water from the same resource. Right. Well, isn't that what she just said? I still have to determine if either party's been detrimentally affected. <laughs> well, my troughs are dry, my tank's empty, my pump is stuffed. How much more detrimentally affected do I need to be? As I said, it's my job to determine that. Excuse me. Leave this to me. Melanie. It's hard being a woman in a man's world. We all know that. Five women running this place, you wouldn't believe what we cop. Yeah, I bet it's the same for you with all those uh, middle management types thinking they know better than a young woman. Not really. Right. Well, we all know that men like getting their own way, so it's high time we showed them that we won't be pushed around. Right? <laughs> I'll inspect the irrigation system at Wilgul and get back to you. Yeah, right, thanks. Oh, that went well. So you're pumping within your allocation? Yeah, yeah, sure. Look, Melanie, as far as I can see, there's only one solution here, right? She can move her cattle. I can't move my crops. Yeah. I mean, I should also point out that uh, I've been irrigating for weeks without any problems at all. Oh, so you're saying it's her fault? No, no, not at all. I'm just saying that I've been reliant on this water supply a lot longer than me, that's all. I need to convene a meeting between the affected parties so we can discuss some possible resolutions. Sure, do you want to come up and use the phone? Got one, thanks. Cool drink? Got one of those too. Do you want to just come up to the house anyway? What for? We'll meet at the boundary fence. Neutral territory is always best, I find. I should point out that Mr Ryan was given approval to irrigate, but the general rule we observe is that stock takes precedence over crops. Well, so what's your decision? Yeah, who gets the water? Well, there are several solutions. The first is to install gate valves on both your bores to limit the water you pump. So a 50% supply would be fair. Well, that sounds all right. No way, no. My irrigation system needs 100% supply to operate. Yeah, well, we can draw up a timetable of alternate usage, permitting you to only use your bores at particular times. We've already tried doing that. You can always buy in water when you can't pump. I can't afford to do that. Neither can I. 
I may as well plough my barley back into the ground if I can't water it when I have to. Oh, in that case, I'd let Ms McLeod's cattle eat it off instead. <laughs> Sorry. Joke. So it's really the best suggestion you can come up with. I'll give you time to consider your options. If you can't reach an agreement, I'm empowered to suspend your licences so that neither of you are permitted to use the water. that's meant to make you go weak at the knees. I've never seen him do any look. We obviously weren't looking. Hmm. I told you he'd do the dirty eyes and he has. No dirtier than you flashing your cleavage to get a quarter horse contract. I never flashed anything. Well, Tess did. Well, that's, that's different. Why? Because that was over horses, this is over water. You'll ever put the washing on and need the water from the veggies. You'll have us peeing on them next. Joke, Mum, it was a joke. <laughs> they were white. Pure white linen. Oh, I, I had to switch the washing machine over to bore water because the tank was low. Do you know how much they cost me? Well, they're still clean, they're just a bit stained. I'm sorry, but they look like rejects from a backpacker's hostel. There's a snake! It's a piece of hose. Snakes are no big deal, just leave them alone. What, you have to? They're a protected species. Yeah, who protects me? Hey, good looking. Uh... Oh, you're getting a bit right there, lovey. Well, unlike some people, I don't have the comforts of Kalani. Uh -huh. Did you want something? Yeah, you know that mint sauce bottle I finished the tea the other night? to send in the lid. You really think you're going to win something, don't you? Oh, I might not have so much luck so far, but, you know, the chances of me winning are getting better and better. It's going to drive me nuts. There's things you do to drive me nuts too, you know. Like what? Like, uh, that slurping sound you make when you're having a drink. I do not slurp. And the garnishes. Oh, I love your cooking. I just wish you'd stop dressing up with uh, parsley and those curly bits of celery and... Uh, Twists of orange that you can't eat. Not to mention fan on the beetroot. I see. Oh, and this business of cutting the cigarettes in half. Just quit to smoke a whole one. Anything else, Terry? Please, no? don't hold back. No. I found what I'm looking for. Bin's all yours. Thank you. Hi, Becky. Hey. You left this at Wilgul the other night. Oh, well... Thank you for driving all the way over here and giving it to me, because I needed it right now. I don't see why we can't have a pool. Kalani's got a pool. Emma's got a pool. You know, Mr Ryan's got meetings every night this week. I'm not asking for anything to push. Hey! you too. Just a swim in a pool. Sure it's dead? Oh, yeah. What are you keeping it for? Everyone has habits. <laughs> it's not like mine are any more annoying than anyone else. Got a sign of madness, Mum. Talking to yourself. I wasn't talking to myself. It's not like he hasn't got any bad habits. <laughs> Don't get me started. Love it how the horses get the water and we get to smell like horses. Enemy at two o'clock. Tess. Wish me luck. About to call you. I thought we'd better try and nut this out. 
Same here. Melanie was a waste of time. I don't know. You seem to get along. What's that supposed to mean? Well, nothing. Just you know, noticed you flirting with her. You think I was trying to chat her up so she'd take my side? <laughs> How do I know you didn't do the same thing? <laughs> what? Me chat her up? You know, secret women's business. That's all gang up on the bloke stuff. Look, I just want what's fair for both of us. So do I. There's one other choice. Okay. If the worst comes to worse, you can afford to lose your crop. What? Well, Harry will look after you, you know that. You won't lose a cent. I can't afford to lose my stock. I don't have a father who can go out and buy me some more. You know full well I'm only taking what he owes me, Claire. Nick, you have more choices than us right now. We're on our own. Not for much longer, by the looks of things. What? Oh, you seem pretty serious about this Peter Johnson bloke. You marry him, who's going to be in charge then, Mrs Johnson? your socks to bed. What? And you crunch the ice in your drink. And you have that annoying habit of licking the ink off your fingers when you read the paper. I could have mentioned all of that, Terry, but I didn't. Well, I appreciate your self-control, Meg. Guess I better tell my good news to somebody else. What good news? Well, I was going to tell you that I'd actually won something, but as you find me so repulsive, I think I'll just give it to myself. Terry? stock just the mob in the south paddock it's the most sensible thing to do in a dry spell it reduces grazing pressure yeah but look at the prices i'll find someone who make a decent offer can we afford to sell right now no so apologize it's not going to solve anything we just don't have enough water for both of us this is the only way i'm gonna let it go <sighs> come on nick you know what claire's like you just got to sit down and talk to her i tried right? that i borrow some more money plan again somewhere else that's all that's stupidity. Hello, Nick. It's Tess. Anyone home? to boss me around, Alex. Just talk to him, will you? Stop being so desperate to prove yourself all the time. Even if I do marry Peter, I'm still the one in charge, all right? Well, yeah, I didn't uh, realise it was that serious, Claire. Well, it's not. I'm just saying. Well, even if I married you, we'd live here and I'd be the boss. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. You know, yeah, you've got a real problem with letting men help you, Claire. If a bloke helps me out, people say I can't do it on my own. Yeah, see, see? You're obsessed with being independent. Well, you're too macho to work out why. Claire McLeod. Oh, hi, Peter. Oh. 
Can't help the bloke you do, Mary Claire. Go. You'll never be happy with a doormat. How would you know what makes me happy? I just do. Sorry, Peter. No, no one. You've got a bit of a habit of using other people's bathrooms, haven't you? Um, I didn't use much and there's only one of you to a whole tank, so I reckon you can spare some. And anyway, you gave that water rep woman the look, so I'm just getting even. What look? Listen, you and Claire are very old friends and I just think it's ridiculous that you're fighting like this. I agree. Good. Well then, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we can sort something out if you just stop letting your pride get in the way. My pride? I know you bought this place to get back at Harry, but the well, fact wait up, is... Wait up, wait up. Claire told you about that. Of course she did. She's my sister. Haven't you told Alex? No. You're kidding? He's getting all of Kalani. Why should he care? Because you did it behind his back. My business, Tess. Well, thanks for the shower. I'll just go and get dressed. I don't have a problem with male authority. It's just that I'm always right. 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 I'm too proud, is what you Oh, get out. I know. Suppose these things are right, this is it. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Don't say anything. Good day. How's your stock doing? Yeah, OK. Tracking water from Thompson's for them. We haven't turned the pump back on, in case that's what you're wondering. We're not checking up on you. So what are you doing out here? to sink a new bore. You want more water? So you can turn yours back on, actually. Really? Or well, maybe you just came to see if we already had. <laughs> you guys are paranoid. Oh, that's rich, coming from people who have cameras on their fences. <laughs> so now you don't trust me? You're a Ryan. You're used to getting what you want. <laughs> and you're not. I feel like I'm stuck in the middle of a western. Yeah, well, if Clint Eastwood turns up to save us, tell him to rack off, too. Jody, how many times? Food has to look as good as it tastes, so fan the beat trip. Actually, it's fine just as it is. So what do you think Terry could have won? I don't know. Probably something dumb. Like a year's supply of pantyhose. <laughs> hey, when's dinner? Your hair looks clean. I smell shampoo. You've washed. Properly. Yeah, at Nick's I extracted a few ladies from the enemy. It's only a quick shower, he can afford it. And that means one less person to share the bath tonight, so just think how much cleaner you'll all be. I'll just... Take these through, Mick. Not fair, not... fair. She washed her hair. Cow. Then she deserves everything she gets. Oh, I don't mind if no one's hungry, but can you at least eat the carrots? It's only just so much trouble to say. Oh, they're great carrots, and I'm loving the carrots. Oh, I'll um, have mine in a sec. Excuse me. So, uh, what's going to happen with Nick now? Don't know. Remember Alan Williams and the O'Donnells? They had a fight over water that ended up in court. 
tell me about it. So what happened in the end? One of them died. Oh, they don't know. I Snake. Didn't even scream, just went and got a gun and shot. Tess, it was already dead. You shot a dead snake. And still missed. Well, I didn't know. I thought I was doing the right thing. How do you know it was already dead? Yeah. Well, you got your revenge. Like I never had a shower at Nick's. Yeah. Now we're all hot and sweaty. I promise I won't let you drown. No, I've, I've got to keep watch. I thought you said Harry was out. Uh, just in case. Beth? Yeah? You know how they miss gun going balls in a couple of weeks? Uh, I think it's definitely too late for you to end it then. No, I was, I was just, one, just wondering. You know, you can say no if you want. If you haven't, al if you haven't already... Brett, but... just say it. Would you go with me? Like on a date? Well, I mean, we can, we can go together. We... <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that, that should work well. You could give me a lift in. Sure. And then you could take me home again. It's a date. Come in. The only way this will get sorted out is if someone backs down, swallows their pride and makes a first move. Yeah, but does it really have to be us? Well, the guys aren't going to do it. It's women who wave the white flag. We're the peacemakers. It's the burden of our gender. Right. And just think how good we'll feel, knowing that we had the maturity to say sorry first, even though we weren't the ones in the wrong. You want to throw money away, do it with yours, not mine. Now turn the pump on. Alex, talk some sense of your brother. All right, you won't do it. This is my place, Dad. Yeah, for tax. Let's not split hairs. Dad, Wilgo's in my name. It's bought with my money. It's mine and mine alone. You know about this? All right, Nick, you want to go out alone? You can find out what that really means. Alex, I want the tractor gone, I want the grader gone, I want the boom spray gone. Brick, clear out the shed. Any piece of equipment that's mine goes. Call Terry and tell him to get the stock back to Kalani. You want to be boss, Nick? You can be boss. Of nothing at all. Sorry, Nick. but not like this. That's it. I'm selling the stock. Look, you've got enough to worry about. And make a loss? No way. I'm not letting you suffer because of this too, Claire. So we're back to square one. Harry 
is taking back everything. Everything that's not bolted down. <laughs> Bastard. Including the stock you're adjusting for him? Yeah. That's right. That's right. What? We can do a swap. Nick grazes our cattle, so he can take all the bore water for his crop. Told you it was a good idea to make the first move, didn't I? That's the last of our mob, Nick. Look after them. My water for your pasture. Fair deal. <laughs> Guess I should thank Harry for making it available to my stock. Yeah, he's been a great help. We should belong to the UN. Look, Claire, some stuff was said in the heat of the moment, and I'm... Yeah. Me too. See ya. Come over for a shower any time. As soon as Terry's brought those wieners in, you can go back with them for the rest. I want everything at Wilgle that's not nailed down. And then you can go back again for whatever is. You think I'm being too hard on you? Yeah, you busting a gut for me. Didn't tell you, did he? Mm -hmm. This is great. Very tropical. <laughs> I thought it was silly, you know, the way we were fighting. Mm. We're adults, we can see past each other's little habits. And if we didn't have our foibles, we wouldn't be us, would we? Too right. So, here's to being us. I'll drink to that. Under the stars, enjoying 50 separate jet nozzles for the ultimate in relaxation. We're in a dry spell, Terry. Could you have won anything more stupid if you tried? Oh, me, it'll rain soon enough. You could do with some relaxation. You say I'm tense. Well, well not tense. We're just, just uptight. It's the weather it gets to everyone. So what you need is to cool off. I love a spa bath right now. Never heard one. Don't want to know. What are you doing, Tess? He's not here, Tess. Oh, good. Oh, good. Don't know how you can live with him anyway. Hang on. Nick's the one that went behind Dad's back and mine for that matter. Yeah, because Harry broke his promise. What promise? When he was under the tractor, he told Nick that he'd inherit half of Kalani. Then he changed it so that Nick gets nothing. So how do you know? Claire told me. And if you and Nick acted like brothers and talked more, then maybe you'd know too. Nick's just doing what he had to, Alex. So what are you up to? Oh, just squaring the ledger a bit. Should I be worried? No. 
Mm -mm. By the way, who's Shelley? I'm pretending I haven't seen you. Remember? Almost. The rest is in the tanker. You can use it on your veggies, Meg. Oh, I'm just great more carrots. <laughs> okay, to um to spas and to Terry from anyone. Mm -hmm. To spas and Terry. Hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. No room. No room. No room. No room. Thank you. Cheers, Terry. He doesn't mind. He doesn't mind. He doesn't mind. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, and I love the heat. It makes me so. 